Population Growth Effects on Education The population growth effects on education can be seen in many countries. If the population is high, there are more people to educate, and because of this, it can be difficult for all children to receive equal access to quality education. In some countries with higher populations, such as India or China, population density also plays a role in how easy it is for each child to receive proper schooling. For example, if two children live side by side from one another, but one lives in a densely populated area while the other child lives in an unpopulated suburb, then they will have different educational opportunities than their counterparts who live closer together. Population Growth Effects on the Educational System In the past decade or so, there have been many changes to public education. These changes are due in part to population growth effects on the educational system, which may cause overcrowding of schools and classrooms. Currently, one out of five children will grow up not graduating high school because they did not finish their schooling for financial reasons related to being a lower-income family that qualifies them as eligible for free lunch programs at school districts where students receive reduced-cost lunches based on household size instead of the number attending class each day. Population growth has had a significant effect on the educational system. In 1990, about one-third of all children in developing countries were not enrolled in primary school and less than 45% of youth graduated from high school, UNESCO. This means that there is an alarming amount of people who are being denied education due to lack of space. New classrooms must be constructed before we can start thinking about higher-level institutions like universities or colleges, for example, which cater exclusively to those with access to quality secondary schools, as university admissions exam. In order to save our planet for future generations we need to reduce the population growth effects on education. Population growth effects on schools. Schools are being impacted by the population of students and how it shifts in a community. Factors such as housing prices, economic factors, affordability levels for families with children and school districts can change because certain areas may not be able to house any more people while others have plenty of room. Schools need adequate space for classrooms so they don't get overcrowded, which is problematic when there's an influx or outflux from one area to another. This often leads to overcrowded classrooms, which can lead to a negative effect on education. As populations grow, schools are forced into more significant and more expensive buildings with each passing year. This is problematic as it drives up operational costs for all involved parties, students have less opportunity for individual attention. Teachers get bogged down in paperwork instead of teaching classes effectively or planning lessons ahead of time due to their large class sizes, which also affects student learning. Parents end up paying higher taxes without receiving any tangible benefits from them themselves, etc. Population growth effects on education are important to know so that we can control them. Population growth effects on competition in schools. There are many factors that determine what can happen when there is competition for resources in schools. For example, the size of school populations affects how much funding goes to each student and also influences which programs may be more popular than others with students or parents. It's important to note that some people don't realize just how big an effect population has on competition within educational systems because it might not seem like such a significant issue at first glance, but as this article shows, econometrics models show otherwise. The surplus of students in public schools is a problem that has both social and economic repercussions. A study by the National Education Association, NEA, revealed some alarming statistics about this issue. For every 100 high school graduates, there are now 130 new entrants to post-secondary education. 14 million more people will enter college in 2020 than were enrolled last year. Nearly one-third of all current undergraduate courses face overcrowding with at least 30% enrollment increase over their capacity limit set when they opened. This means many classrooms have been converted into makeshift libraries or daycare centers while others close up shop indefinitely because too many kids can't find seats inside them anymore. Population Growth Effects on Education Population Growth Effects on Education Transportation According to a study done by the UN, population growth is affecting transportation and education. The number of people in developing countries will increase significantly, which will create more demand for housing space, food production and use up natural resources at an alarming rate. The population is growing at such a rate that it has reached the point where there are too many people for schools to accommodate. Many teachers have been forced out of their jobs because they can't teach in classrooms with more than 25 students per teacher. This exacerbates an already bad situation, 
as transportation becomes another issue when trying to get from place to place due to overpopulation and traffic jams caused by people driving cars everywhere instead of using public transport or other methods like buses or trains. Population growth effects on education are hard to understand but we all need to work together to control these effects. Students' population growth effects on teachers. Teachers are in a difficult position these days. In the last 10 years, the student population has doubled, and now they need to find ways of teaching twice as many students with half as much help from other teachers. This can lead to frustrating times for both sides during class time when there is more work than hands on deck. In a study conducted by the National Union of Teachers, they found that in 35% of cases, when there is an increase or decrease in student population, teachers will find their workload has increased. The number one reason for this change was attributed to more students being enrolled into classes that weren't bigger than average. This can be detrimental because it means not only are some kids left out but also fewer opportunities exist for collaboration and personal interactions with each other on both sides teacher and children alike.